Hi everybody, it is your girl Amanda and this is my channel Amanda Random and I decided we were going to get into um, finally getting this greeting card Christmas junk journal thing going. Um, so I decided I would start the cover and since I ripped it or cut through it with my X-Acto blade, um, I'm just using some duct tape. It's going to be covered anyway, so any kind of duct tape would work for this. I just kind of want to reinforce um, the spine. So, without sticking the duct tape to everything, that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding pieces of duct tape and uh, making sure that that's just a little sturdier. I kind of rushed through this video and decided I would just do the voiceover for it. Um, my dogs are going crazy and barking and yeah, and such is life. So I'm just kind of making sure that tape gets in the creases of the spine and where the book folds. Uh, that's just a little piece of washi that I threw in the middle to cover um, where I had gone through it. And this is Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue. I love this stuff. If you want it to work to get anything stuck in there, the Turbo Tacky, the Turbo Tacky Glue works amazing. It works amazing. That's all I got to say. And I was gonna put the signatures in the middle and I decided I'm just going to cut up this Christmas bag that I had because I liked the image on it and I'm going to save the handles and the little tag as well to use in our journal and I see in here that the bag was already pretty much <laughs> ripped apart it wasn't even glued down the side so and this was also just a big dollar tree um, Christmas bag that I had gotten and there I went all willy-nilly like and ripped it because I got a little too overzealous and now you can see that I'm just kind of trimming it down since I ripped it and of course I ripped it just short enough of actually where I wanted it because I wanted it a little longer but that did not happen and since I decided this was just going to be a quick whatever cover, I decided I was just going to go with it and make it work, as Tim would say. If you watch Project Runway, I love that show. Sorry, just have to throw that in there. It's one of my favorite shows. So at this point, I am, yeah, making it work and decided I'm just going to cover the book and this piece here of paper and glue and make that sucker stick. Uh, this part you want to be you want to be pretty generous with the glue um, when you're just I found that I could even use glue sticks and it would work but because I used the shiny duct tape and whatnot and I had the turbo tacky glue out on my desk because that's what I'm going to use to fill up the spine to stick the signatures inside the book. So here I'm just going cray cray with the glue all over the book. <laughs> and you want to make sure that you get it really close to the edges and the outer edges all the way around the book so that um, those are the spots that will stick. Usually when I do this, I leave enough of an overhang so that I can fold it in. But since I went on crazy like and ripped the, uh, <laughs> the back of that bag that I wanted to use, I don't, you can see here when I put it down, it doesn't really leave me too much of anything to fold over the edges. So... At that point, I was like, well, I already used all that glue, and I'm just going to push it around and get it to where hopefully it'll kind of fit. And I, I apologize, you guys, that I'm kind of off camera here. 
I was just um, lost in thought and wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I wasn't in the the correct area. So I'm just going now and cutting diagonal across the corners so that I can fold all this down. And usually I leave more of an overhang, like I said, so that I have more to fold in. But that didn't happen. And instead of getting all whiny about it, I was just like, I'm going to take these little wee edges. <laughs> and I'm going to make it work, fill them full of some glue. And I, I figured I was going to go over the inside of the book as well, so that the back and front kind of have something on them and at that point I was like okay this why did I not cut this bigger oh well as long as I pinched it tight enough and held it with my fingers that turbo tacky glue worked pretty good to keep it stuck down anyway it would have just obviously looked a lot nicer if I wouldn't have went crazy and ripped the gift bag so I am just trying my hardest <laughs> to bend some of those little edges over that cover and get them glued down. And that's like that corner barely even meets, but it's not necessarily a junk journal, but it kind of is. So I didn't even care. And honestly, you can always fix the outside cover. Um, you can add more to it. You could redo it. You can, you know, there's so many different things you can do that just because something, one thing goes wrong, don't just give up. Keep going. There's all kinds of different things that you can do to make it work better or, you know, maybe even turn out better than you had imagined. So... That's what I was hoping at this point. <laughs> Maybe it'll just turn out better than what I'm thinking it will. And honestly, I just wanted to get to the part where I could show you that I, you know, got the signatures into the actual book because I'm going crazy and I want to start putting all of my Christmas bits inside of there. So I thought I sped this video up enough that it wouldn't take nine hours to watch me get mad and fold pieces of glued paper, but apparently I didn't speed it up enough. <laughs> so I'm just pushing that down, making sure that it really, really sticks. Um, and then I decided, you know what, I have that bag that I ripped up. And obviously, there's a front and a back to the bag. So, I decided I was just going to cut the back part of the bag up as well. And put that down on the inside just to cover um, cover the inside of the book. I really like the little cardinal. He's really super cute. Uh, so, like I said, it didn't turn out as bad as I thought. But I, I knew I would probably end up changing the front. But, oh well, it worked. I got it on there. Right here, um, I'm actually, I cut the back part of the bag out and I'm just kind of measuring where the book starts and ends. So I had an idea because I wanted to cut these individually instead of gluing over the middle of the spine. I just wanted to cut um, basically the rectangle out for each each side of the book on the inside just to get it put down. And of course, like, you know, kindergarten cutting abilities here. And I decided I was going to use my trusted little glue stick and just get that in there. And I didn't measure or cut like 100% appropriate or, you know, exact. So my plan was just to stick it on there and trim around the edges if I needed to. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Like, is that Cardinal? That little bird is, like, seriously the cutest. I have a thing for Cardinals. 
I love them and they remind me of my grandma Carol and obviously there you can see that you know I I didn't cut it to the right to the right height so I'm just trimming the edges off where it's sticking over and like I said you can go over these edges with washi tape you can use you can use anything you want to make them look better if you want. Um, and if you don't like the way it's turning out, you can go over the whole entire thing with duct tape. Honestly, it really doesn't matter. I just decided I didn't want to waste the rest of the bag. So while we were on camera, I was going to just glue the inside in because it is actually really cute. Um, the other thing is my book cover is quite a bit longer than what... Um, the length of my cards are. So there's, there's a good, I don't know, maybe half an inch at the top of the book and at the bottom of the book where it'll hang over. I hope that's making sense. It, it'll just be up a little higher than what my cards will be in the middle. So I'm probably gonna do something to cover, obviously, that little, that little washy piece in the middle. And I might poke a hole through there or something to hang something from the sides. I haven't decided yet. Like I said, when you're making these, there's... I don't really consider any mistake a total mistake or a loss because there's just so many different things you can do um, to fix it or change it or, you know, make it better. So I'm just trimming the excess off, just like I did on the back. And you can see that <laughs> this is not very precise whatsoever. But there you go. I'm just going to push it all down, push it in, showing you that the corners are sticking out, and I don't care. And now, here's all my signatures that I'm going to take and fill in there. Now you can see that I meant, like, there's that little bit above and below where they're going to sit. But that's okay. I kind of like it. I don't care. And I think at this point, I was trying to find my binder clips so that I could, like, clip them. And I couldn't find them anywhere. Big desk. Too much stuff. And then I was like, I'm pretty sure I put them in my rainbow monkey no, container. And they weren't in there either. And then I make sure to show you guys my cute little... Oh yeah, at this point, like, after I took that container off the top of my desk, it, like, let all of my heavy books and things and sticker books all fall. So I'm trying to stand up and pick that all up. There's my cute little owl sharpener and ring for a kiss bell. All of that had fallen <laughs> off or yeah off camera. You don't see it because like the whole top just dominoes over. So I have a mess to clean up but I was like you know what I will worry about that later. And then lo and behold the dang binder clips are, oh, I don't know, about 12 inches just to the right of my hand. Yeah. So there's that. Um, <laughs> here I'm just trying to get the signatures in the order that I want them and kind of get them all bent down. And I'm clipping them in so that I can make them all level and align across the bottom there enough so that when I put them into the middle here, you can see I'm just using this. And let me tell you, I go crazy. When I'm doing a book like this, I fill the entire middle part <laughs> with the Turbo Tacky glue just to make sure. And I don't show it in this video because we'll do it in the next one but after I get the signatures in I you probably could trust the turbo tacky glue to hold them but I like to have 
that extra insurance that they're not going anywhere. So I also take ribbon after they're in and tie them in um, between some of them. So yeah, we'll do that in the next video. And here I'm just showing you now I filled it all up. And I'm just positioning it where I want it. And I'm moving the binder clips up just a little because um, I wanted them to be able to expand just a little bit to fit the spine. And then once I got them in there where I wanted them, I just closed them around the book. And you can see down there, if I, if I hold it to the camera collect correctly anyway, you can see. Um, you just want to leave it sit up on its end like that so it all just sits and um, it glues rather fast, but I usually do this process and then leave it sit overnight and then I come back and tie in ribbons or, you know, anything like that that you want to use to fix it or just to, I don't even want to say fix it, just to make sure that they stay in there. So you just want to push those signatures down into the spine a little. You can't really see, but that's what I'm doing right there. And I'm looking at my very not-so-handy <laughs> scissor work. <laughs> but like I said, you can fix all of that stuff. So I couldn't find a binder clip, so I had to pause the video. And I took one off the inside. And I'm just pushing those straight down in to the crease of the book down there and molding it kind of to, you know, the, the spine of the book. And now that I have it binder clipped, I'm just going to leave it sit and that's going to be the end of this video.